hi everyone in this video we are going to discuss about skype -y. so before discussing skype -y, let's just revise that when we are on our network and one computer let's say client machine wants to send something to some web server maybe that can be they can be any two computers and if they want to exchange some information so that information will be sent and received in the form of certain packets or frames and uh, so let's see this is some frame i have taken this from wikipedia so in that frame you can see there are different fields and in this field we have the information about the ip address of this computer about mac address of this computer so we have all these fields there and then these frames are sent from this computer to this computer okay that's the basic about basics about communication and now escapee is a program written in python and the job of, or maybe what Scapy allows us to create such kind of packets, it can allow us to manipulate it, send or receive, or maybe send, uh, uh, sniff network frames as well. So this is what Scapy can do for us. But now, if we look further in details of this frame, you can see here in this frame, we can have different fields. Uh, we can have destination MAC address. We can have, you can see destination MAC address. So MAC address this, or maybe de of the default gateway, we can have IP payload. In the IP payload, we can have IP address, source IP address, destination IP address, and within IP, we can also have TCP as well. So now SKP actually allows us to change these fields, to manipulate the values of these fields, which I'll demonstrate in, in my Kali Linux machine. But this is something which we can do. So we can create packets of our own. We can manipulate it. We can send and receive packets. And we can also monitor or maybe we can sniff network traffic with the help of that. Maybe, uh, let's say, as per definition, we say it, with the help of SCAPE, uh, we can create, dissect, and manipulate packets at various layers like Ethernet, IP, TCP, UDP, ICMP. And if you, if you remember, then Ethernet has some different fields. IP can have other different fields. TCP can even have more fields. So these all fields will have values, and we can create, we can manipulate these fields with the help of SCAPI. And uh, we'll be going through uh, using our demonstration as well. So this first of the jobs, and second job of SCAPI can be to capture and analyze network traffic. So we have another tool that is called Wireshark. But same thing we can also do with, with SKP as well. And with SKP, we can use it uh, for network discovery as well. So we can perform network discovery like identifying live hosts, like the computers which are on are turned on on the network. We can find out some open ports on those computers and let's say what kind of services are running on those computers. So we have another tool to do that job that is NMAP. So yes. These are some of the important things which Scapy can do, and we will be exploring these Scapy in our Kali Linux machine. And today I'll show you some very basic things of Scapy in in my Kali Linux machine. So let's move to Kali. Okay, so now to show you some of the uses of Scapy, I'm going to my Kali machine. So in Kali Linux machine, Scapy is installed by default we don't need to do anything but we can also do same thing in windows based machine as well so if you want to do in windows then i have other videos where i have tried to install this escape in windows based machine so you can follow those steps there but if you're using kali linux machine then simply we have here the terminal we click there and then terminal launches on our screen and yeah and then maybe i should maximize this screen a bit so control plus plus so Kali and uh, here I'm going to simply write sudo we need administrative pri privileges or root level privileges and then uh, sudo scapey press enter and then we need to give the password of Kali and Linux machine so very first thing is that maybe we would like to see that how we can get some help uh, so for that maybe we can simply write help and then we can get help for some different commands so we will see that what commands are available. So first of all, let's see what commands are available. So for that, we have a command that is LSC. And then maybe in bracket, so this will be a function. 
so press enter and this function gives us further like we can see lsc and say that these are the default commands which we can use so ip id count this is used to identify ip id values classes and a list of packets so anyway we can have many other things which we can uh, explore but if you want to see what uh, what it does so we can say help and then we can say lsc and press enter so now it's, it displays that what it provides so lsc actually is used to display escape escape is default command so if you want to see all the default commands available in escapee you can this you can use this function and what this function itself does we simply used help and within bracket we gave the name of this function and then now you, uh, if you want to go back simply press q and we are back in our escapee and then if for example if you want to get some help about any of these available commands let's say if you want to get some help about uh, maybe send so you can see send packets at layer 3 but if you want to use help function you can simply type help and then say send and it will give you the information about send yeah so help on function send in module escape p send receive the send x interface and then this for the details about that and now to go back simply press q we are back so this is how we can get some basic information about escapee that what what basic commands are available and if we need further information about those commands and how to make use of help okay now further to this how to create so how to create a packet using escapee this is something which i want to show you and we'll be exploring it further so for that we have different layers so we have let's say network layer we have data link layer we have transport layer and uh, we have we have some functions by which we can create these all uh, packets so i'm going to explore so for to for creating packet we have ether and maybe if we, if we just get the help and if I say ether, ether, and this will give you for the information what ether does. So help on class ether in the module. So that's in class ether, what it does, and ether destination, source, type, or type field. So ether, it will create an ethernet frame. And that frame, we will have different fields and let's say press q and we can also list all the fields available in ether so for that we have ls and within ls we can write ether it will give all the fields available we can we can which, which we can use or manipulate when creating ethernet frame so ls ether and press enter and say that to create ethernet frame you can have these fields like dst dst stands for destination so that's the destination mac address this is the source mac address and this is a type field so these are some things which we can enter values for these fields and in this way we can change the mac address source mac address destination mac address type field in the same way we can have ip layer so we can write help and then maybe list we want to list those fields so ls and then ip so in this ip layer what fields we have you can see when we when we'll be creating ip layer or the packets ip um, header fields in that case what fields we can have and what we can change so you can see we have version field we can length field id field specifically we have source so source ip field destination ip field these are some fields which we can change when creating a packet in the same way we can see let's say tcp as well lstcp and you can see when creating tcp segment what fields we can have so you can see here show the s port and source port destination port sequence number acknowledgement number so these all are the fields and uh, their values actually we can use using escape field so now with this let's create our very first packet so i'm going to name this packet so i'll be creating that packet let's say we can maybe create a packet like this first we are going to create maybe um, a packet let's say ip 
packet and in this IP packet uh, maybe we give it a name we put this value in in a variable we say IP packet in this IP packet we will have IP and then in IP we are going to change some folds the source field I'm not going to change that's a destination field uh, in my case that's that will be google.com so we can change source field as well but that is actually called IP spoofing which I will be demonstrating in a very short video but not in this video in the next video so that's my destination uh, IP address and then I'm going to close it and by this I have created an IP packet so I just I need to press enter and after that I have this IP packet and uh, we can actually see the fields of this IP packets and for that we have um, IP and we can say packet and then we can say dot show so this will give you summary of everything so what we have here so an IP packet dot show using IP packet dot show we can see the fields which has by default values and the values which we just changed so in, in this case it says that in this IP packet we have uh, many other fields but we haven't changed these many fields we have only changed IP address so source IP address is basically taken from the IP address of my uh, machine that's Kali Linux machine and this is a destination IP address or the destination domain name which I just configured so this is the only thing I have changed in these in this IP packet fields but we can change like all these fields as well okay once I have created IP I can also create ether so maybe I can say ether frame and ether frame is equal to maybe ether I'm not going to change any field here so that will be simply ether and now I have ether let's say we will have uh, we will have a, uh, a frame and within that frame we are going to put IP packets and within IP packet we can have TCP segment or we, we can have let's say ICMP as well so now I'm going to create final packet so let's say my that will be my packet I'm going to give it a name my packet and that my packet will be equal to ether so that is what I have created I have created ether frame ether frame that's what I have created here and then on top of that what IP packet I have created so you can see this is the name of IP packet here this is the name of packet I have created so I'm going to stack it using forward so that's actually forward slashing forward slash means we are stacking so we have ether frame and on top of that we are putting IP packet and on top of that we can also have we can also have uh, ICMP and you know ICMP stands for internet control message protocol which is used for ping so I can have ICMP I'm going to just define an ICMP here and then we can also have some data as well but I'm not going to use for this demonstration so that's simple I have Ethernet frame and on top of that I have IP and on top of that I see I have ICMP and with the combination of all these or with the help of staking of all these uh, protocols or layers I have this final packet that is my packet so we simply press enter and now my packet is ready and if you want to see my packet we can simply write my packet so I want to see the details of the packet which I have created so my packet and then you can simply make use of show function so that is dot show so method and press enter and you can see in my packet what we have here with this command we can see in the Ethernet so these are the source and destination MAC address which has been taken by default but we can also change them as well which we will be demonstrating or we will be using in in and in some other video so these are versions and these are uh, destination MAC address so my packet is ready and my packet name is my packet and these are all different fields showing there and now if I want to simply send it so that for that I have a simple command that is simply SEN send but if, uh, if you want to see that what is going on then we can make use of Wireshark 
So I'm going to maybe start Wireshark, which is also uh, pre-installed on, on our Kali Linux machine. So Wireshark started and it, it, will, it will show you different interfaces and then you have to select the interface which you are using. Okay, now you can see here, it shows that ETH0, so ETH0 is the interface which I'm using. And it also sh is showing you the IP address, that is 192.168.22.129. So I'm going to select this interface. I'm going to monitor traffic on this interface using Wireshark. And now I'm going to minimize it. And after that, using Escapey, I'm going to send this packet. So I have already mentioned the IP address. I'm going to simply say send my packet which I have just created and then press enter. Okay, so in this case it says that uh, I have MAC address, so MAC address to reach destination not found. So in that case we need to use send P instead of send, sorry for that, send P and then say my packet because send p is used to send layer 2 packets or to send frames so as i'm using ether it means i have frames so i need to use send p and then my packet and close it and press enter and i can see here send one packet but now if you go back here in my wireshark so you can see in this wireshark it shows that we have this is the source address so this shows that there's a source address 192.168.22.1 uh, sorry 22.129 this is the source IP address of my computer and then this is the IP address of destination so in my case the destination was google.com so hopefully this is the IP address of Google and this was the ICMP packet which was sent so this was only one packet so a ping request was sent and then rest of the details was taken by default and also you can filter uh, filter it out so we have many packets if you want to see only icmp packets you can simply use this filter field here in packet presser press icmp and then you click on this arrow on the right hand side it will only show you the icmp packet so you can see here there's a source address and the destination of google and icmp protocol and this way it only send one packet and that was for request and then we, we don't have any response for that and you can further explore this like expand this as well so this is all about wireshark what you can see here this is a source and this is destination okay so this was a very simple demonstration that how we can use escapey to simply create our packets but in this packet we have different layers like data link layer frame information and frame we, in the frame we have different fields which we can change and on the ip we also have different fields which we can change and the tcp we have different fields which we can also change um, but these all things maybe we'll see in our uh, next videos um, and thank you thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video